Hello Art Warriors, thanks again for joining me in another video tutorial. I'm Augustilo and I'll be your video tutor for this lesson. A lot of y'all been emailing me in regards to what happened to the automated web gallery within Photoshop. Adobe has moved this feature over to the bridge. Along with the decision Adobe has made to carry this feature over to the bridge, Adobe has also implemented some new features. In this video, I'll show you how to access this feature to get started on your gallery. We'll start by clicking Output on this convenient pull-down menu, or we could click Windows, Workspace, Output. Now on your Output menu pane, you got two options. You could create a PDF or a web gallery. This tutorial will be doing a web gallery. Select Web Gallery and you'll have a couple different options as far as the templates that are available to you. Now let's browse for the images we'll be using in our gallery. From here, go ahead and highlight all the images you'll be using in this gallery. Once you have your images selected, you want to click Refresh Preview. And Photoshop will bring up a preview of that gallery based on the template you've selected. You can browse through different templates from the template pull down menu. Once you select your new template, hit Refresh Preview to preview that template. Each gallery is equipped with its own features and options. Here you want to type in the title of your gallery. If you want to give your collection a title, and a description of your collection. Also your contact information. Any copyright information that you have. play around with the color scheme of your gallery. I'll just leave it at the default. So you can adjust the pix size of your layout, gallery image, thumbnail, and the quality of your images. Here I'm going to increase the size of my thumbnail. Now here's where you tell Photoshop what to do with your gallery to be created. It asks for a gallery name, that will be the name of your folder, the location you wish to save this as, or you also have the option to upload this to an FTP server. It will ask you for the server address, your username, password, and the folder on the server to which you wish to save your gallery. From here you hit save or upload depending on which of these actions you want the bridge to perform. Now let's go ahead and preview our gallery within the default browser. And here's a preview of the image that we'll be working on on our next upcoming tutorial, Graphics with Agostino. Hope this video proved to be useful, and thanks again, Hardwarians for joining me in another video tutorial.